welcome back to Team Miss TV. Today we are in Iowa, Davenport Speedway. We got late models down here, uh, extreme midget series, uh, world outlaw deal. Oh, pretty pumped. It is hot out. We uh, did some testing last night, shook the car down, uh, had a little issue, so we're hoping that works itself out. But uh, exciting night of racing here at the track, so gonna go draw and get things started. Dave, you want to grab my helmet? Time to get some engine heat. You can see they're pushing them off in the pits. Get this thing fired off and ready to qualify and practice. What do you got here? Oh, look at that. Look at this thing. That is so cool. So you guys need to go check out Superior Steering Wheels. They make custom steering wheels. That's why mine is so custom to my race car. And before we changed the pink car, this was so close to it as well. But uh, this is pretty cool. Go check them out. Uh, SuperiorSteeringWheels.com? Yes. Yeah. And cool. Facebook. And they got a Facebook. Go check that out. Instagram and stuff, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. So we run a radio. It's a one-way radio. That way the uh, officials can tell us when the red and the yellow comes out. And apparently Eli's radio is not working. So here's the radio. This thing should work. How was the car? Oh, that was the horn. I'm going to get in the car. They just did a gear change. Um, and uh, it's time to go racing. As always, thanks for watching Team Ez TV. Don't forget to go like it and subscribe. Get uh, Click on the bell, get some notifications. Go uh, check out my sponsors, Wits RC Racing Products. Shop Team Ez. Go get you some merch, some slider dye stuff. All right, we are rolling out for the heat race. We start fifth. Hoping to go forward.
but the top of the track is super slick and the bottom is i feel like where i need to be but it just doesn't have the right gear to run the bottom so kind of up here on the top on the chip midgets are so tough because they're so gear sensitive Didn't have time to change what I wanted to change, but uh, hey, sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, man, it is hot. It's like 95 degrees. Sweating my butt off. Oh, thanks to Chuck, Dave, and Don for helping out. Thank you, Matt Step, for giving us a hot rod as always.
never got to the chip one fucking time. They'll, after that last restart, it looked really good. Yeah, well, after you drop. Look at that. Two tear offs left because. I didn't realize they were doing such a rework. Uh, man, we were pretty good. I think we ended up, uh, hey, where'd we end up, fifth? Fourth. Fourth. You got her at the end. Got, got Jade at the end there, so that was uh, that was nice. Um, man, we were pretty good. It took all of the race for it to build speed. It just like slowly got better every lap of the race. And uh, you could tell, killed the right rear. But I don't know that, hey, was that brand new? So we didn't have a heat cycle in that right rear, so that could have been the reason why it killed it. Um, did you run all the laps? Yes, yeah. I did. So these guys, I was just checking out their car, and they didn't have much wear on it, but I'm not sure where he was running it. And because I didn't, I didn't feel like I had enough gear in it, and so I just had to like carry momentum, which meant like burn it into the slick and, and run the top the whole time and just flog this thing. Um, it, it wasn't getting to the chip, and with the midgets, it has to get to the chip. Um, but we went down gear, and then we went back to what we started on, and it was on the chip early, like ragging out the chip. So I'm starting to think, like, as the air changes, um, you know, these are not electronic fuel ignitions, which is why you need to take your car to Engler so he can tune it in. But the air is super terrible here today. Like the ADR is like 88 and typically it's 92. And what that means is the air is thick. The air has a lot of um, moisture in it. The altitude, the corrected altitude was like 4,200 feet, which is a ton. And so I'm starting to think that maybe the fueling was a little bit off and not the gearing. Uh, we're gonna have to do some research and try to figure that out. That's on Dave and uh, we'll, we'll give Tim a, Tim a call, but I'm, uh, I was fourth? Sweet. Sweet! So close to a podium. Uh, you know, not not a bad night. We'll take that. You know, the thing's in one piece. We got a brand new car in one piece with our new motor, our new design. How do you like the design? I didn't even mention that. You know, uh, my sticker guy didn't have pink, and that was his excuse for changing the graphics. Um, I have all my t-shirts are pink and blue, so that's, that's a really tough call for me to just up and change the graphics, but it does, however, match my helmet really nice so don't forget to go check out my sponsors wits rc racing products csi shocks bell helmets and uh who are we forgetting don forgetting anybody see what happens when i bring other people into the show they don't even know what to do they don't even know what to do but uh, it was a good night of racing Pretty cool, hanging out with my buddies. This kid here is from Australia, first time in the car, first like midget race, so that's exciting. I don't even know that mate's name. Uh, Guile was, uh, <clears throat> they, they're searching, they're searching. It's been a good night. Hey, thanks for watching, I'm out.